Hey Shug, welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we are here to do Aries weekend check-in. Well, it's not really a weekend check-in. It's just a check-in, okay? To kind of see like where you are, all right? You and your person, okay? This is a love reading, okay? So if you're not here for a love reading, you want a general reading, I'm sure I have a video for you, okay? Um, so check um, one of those videos out. This is for Aries. Just a check-in to see where you and your person are are right now okay for Aries spirit um sun will rise in Venus okay for Aries my Aries rising so I always love to do Aries reading for Aries one more time because I just you know staged my deck so I'm gonna make sure that the shuffle's right <laughs> So, we're going to just um, see, like, how your person feels about you, how you're feeling about your person, the connection, and then, like, where the connection's headed, okay? So, Spirit, please tell us, how is Aries' person feeling about them right now? How is Aries' person feeling about them? Okay, you get the Six of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So they feeling pretty good about you, Aries, okay? They feeling like this can be successful, this can go well, you know? Okay. How does Aries person feel about them? Focus. Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit, that's Capricorn energy. So they could have taken some time away or maybe doing that now. You know, not necessarily like um, ignoring you or anything, but just kind of like thinking, keeping to themselves a little bit. They might feel like that's what you're doing too, okay? You also get the three of wands over here with the ten of swords on the bottom. This person is kind of like waiting to get over the hurt and pain though, okay? So it's like the ten of swords, I'm sorry, the ten of swords is on the bottom. It's almost like... That pain is still there underneath the surface, okay? They're feeling optimistic, okay? They're feeling better about the connection about you, but that pain is still there, okay? All right, so how do you feel, Aries? How does Aries feel about the their person? Mm. Seven of Swords, Six of Cups on the bottom. So Seven of Swords is a, like, you know, lack of trust, doubting, you know, last and cheating. But the six of cups on the bottom, that's like reconciliation. I don't think this is a person from the past. It could be. Um, but you're not too sure about reconciling. I don't know if you guys had a fight or something. Okay. Also had the two of wands with the five of pentacles. Like you're trying to choose the best path you don't want to necessarily um choose a path that's going to have you kind of like left out in the cold like where you're by yourself or um you know you kind of just choose the wrong person like uh, the person you know does you dirty right so you're just trying to make sure that you aren't you know like choosing the wrong route going the wrong direction one more how aries feel so that's why you're a little skeptic right now like i don't know a little unsure about reconciling right now. <laughs> you get the nine of swords. Yeah, you stressing out, Aries, in judgment. All right, you're stressing out about making this decision. Okay? You're stressing out about making this decision because I think if you do, when you do make this decision, you know, it's almost like the final one, you know? Like you're not revisiting, you're not revisiting it again. Okay? All right, so let's see about the connection. Where's this connection headed, Spirit? Where's this connection headed? For Aries. Where's that connection headed? Okay. Ace of Cups. Okay. Oh, Eight of Wands on the bottom. Okay. So you want to get some communication. Maybe you're giving a communication about a new beginning. Someone wants to start over. Okay. Maybe you're starting over with someone else. Because you also get the Eight of Cups. 
the lovers on the bottom. It's Gemini energy. Okay. One more. Where's this connection headed? The moon. With the will of fortune. Okay. This is things becoming more clear. Things becoming more apparent. Clearing out fear or illusions. Okay. All right. We're going to get you. I got to clarify this. Because I don't know if you're going to somebody else or if you're staying with your person. All right. <laughs> Let's clarify it. Aries. 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 Okay. One more time for Aries. Clarifying for Aries, please. All right, Aries. So I'm going to see about your person because they're feeling pretty good with this Six of Wands. All right. Why is the Three of Wands here for Aries per person? Why is the Three of Wands here for Aries person? Why is the three of wands here for Aries person spirit? Okay. The hermit and the three of swords. So they pulled away from you. Okay, the wands on the bottom. They pulled away from you. They weren't talking to you. And you probably were like, I'm not dealing with this. And I don't know about going back and forth. You know, this person not tell talking to you. You're like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. So let's see why you not trusting of this situation. Seven of Swords. Let me clarify the Seven of Swords for Aries. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Aries? Why is the Seven of Swords here for Aries? Seven of Swords for Aries. It is again the two of wands, two of wands, and the four of pentacles. Okay, you're holding back from making a selection, you're holding back from making a choice. Okay, two of swords on the bottom of the deck, you're unsure, you're not, you're not sure. Okay, let's clarify this two of wands, clarify the two of wands for Aries, king of cups. One more for two of wands. One more for Aries and two of wands. Aries, two of wands. Really? Okay, so you get the um, King of Cups and the Two of Cups, okay? The Two of Wands is here, the King of Cups and Two of Cups because you love this person. You care about this person a lot. Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. But something's kind of keeping you from moving forward, okay? Um, you're considering just, you know, being single, focusing on yourself. One more for Two of Wands. Because the Nine of Pentacles was on the bottom when the King of Cups came out. One more for the Two of Wands. The Will of Fortune and the Five of Cups. Like, you're still in your feelings too. So this person, like, took a break from you, went into hermit mode because they were heartbroken. But you're still in your feelings too. So that's why you, like, got the Two of Wands. Like, I don't know if I want to continue with this. Okay. Clarify this Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Aries? Nine of Swords. Yeah, that Queen of Pentacles came back out. Queen of Pentacles in the Strength card. One more for the Nine of Swords for Aries. Definitely could be dealing with an Earth sign. We also have Taurus here. 
all the water signs. So you're kind of just stressing about whether you should like take this person back, okay, put in the work on this connection, all right, that's what you're stressing about. But the reason why you're like unsure of what route to take, you know, what selection to make is because you're still in your feelings, okay? All right, let's clarify this um, Ace of Cups because I want to know if you're like going to somebody new, Ace of Cups for Aries, or if you're going to um, just start fresh with your person. Two of Pentacles. Mm. Two of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords. Okay. Unsure. Okay, you're going back and forth again. Still unsure, Aries. Alright. About your person. Okay. Because you're still not trusting the situation. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups for Aries. Trying to keep the cards from flying all over the place, Aries. Ace of Cups for Aries. It's taking so long because I just saved my deck. Ace of Cups for Aries. Good. Okay. Nine of Cups. You're going back and forth because you're folks you're thinking like should you like just focus on yourself? One more for the ace of cups. Okay, but you gain the clarity that you need in order to make this decision, okay? All right. Okay. So the ace of cups is um you reuniting. I can't say that word. You reuniting <laughs> with your person, okay? We have the Three of Cups on the bottom, all right? And the Six of Wands and the Chariot, okay? So, you know, you're going back and forth, but you reunite with your person, okay? So why, let's see why this Eight of Cups is here. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah, okay. The Hierophant, okay, with the star on the bottom. So you're walking away, okay, so I think you guys, you might have a conversation, okay? You might have a conversation to clear up all the confusion, okay? All the illusions, all of the suppressed emotions, all right? Because you got the Eight of Wands a couple times and it was from your person, okay? I think your person's going to come and talk to you, all right? Um, and y'all going to talk about, like, higher level of commitment. Y'all going to talk about the commitment. And the Eight of Cups is you guys walking away from the disappointment, from all the sad moments in your relationship with that fresh start with that Ace of Cups. All right, fresh start. One more for the Eight of Cups. Yeah, there it is. To be happy because I'm happy. Okay. And basically, like, just, you know, being very clear with each other. And proceeding with clarity, okay? Not proceeding like, you know, I'm doubtful, I don't know, I'm unsure. But proceeding with clarity, you know, forward with this higher level of commitment to be happy together, okay? Defending it, all right? Protecting it. Pushing through all the hard times with the Nine of Wands, okay? Like, that's perseverance. Sticking it out, all right? So, y'all choosing, y'all have a conversation clip, all the misconceptions. And y'all are choosing to move this forward. Can I come to the wedding? <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get you some advice, Aries. Where's my advice deck? Where is it? Uh, I think it's this one. Okay. You're going to get my wisdom of the oracle. All right. Advice for Aries. Okay, because I was getting nervous, Aries. I was like, dang, they about to lead a person. But no, you're going to talk it out. But just like how your person and they feelings, you and your feelings too. I get it. I don't know who did what. But y'all going to come and get it together. Okay, for Aries. Y'all going to get it together, so that's good. 
for Aries. Can I get a card for Aries? A little advice for them. Advice for Aries in this situation. Okay, you get TikTok. All right, it's card number 30. It's three, it was working together. Work together, it's time to work together. All right, and on the bottom it's exchanging gifts. Go ahead and buy them something. It's the holidays. Everything on sale. Okay. Um, 27, which um, breaks down to a nine. Wishes fulfilled. Okay. So it's time to go ahead and have this conversation. All right. It's time to work together um, and come out this bump. Okay, Aries. Well, that's what I have for you. I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. I miss you guys already. Bye-bye.